when you were when you were a teenager, I know you helped Grandpa a lot in the field growing up. Mm-hmm. What was it different um, in the '60s and the '70s helping Grandpa in the field than what you see in the diorama in the '30s? He, he had, that was a big change. Is it from the diorama with all that? They went to combines and rice drying because you couldn't let it dry in the field and and, and uh, then thrash it. Uh, he came back from World War II, had a degree in engineering, and he wanted to farm instead of, and he made money and raised all five of us and uh, uh, lived in the same same place. But he used his knowledge from World War II in engineering and worked on the dryer and automated some of the processes and that you could dry and, and bring the rice in bulk and not in a sack. Mm-hmm. And you'd keep it in bulk, but it had to be dry and brought in from the, and the combination. Harvester thresher was the big thing. Little, mm-hmm. they were by our modern standards, absolutely tiny, mm-hmm. but it changed everything, and it was very productive. And the price stayed up, unlike it dropped after World War One. It stayed up, and that was the golden age of rice farming in the '50s and the '60s. And they didn't do really well, but consistently got better. And mm-hmm. so my earliest memories in the late '60s, and you know, it's doing really well up in, and uh, so uh, I uh, uh, I remember him changing from cattle. Uh, selling his, all his cattle. He didn't like cattle. Tr- traditionally, <laughs> rice and cattle were really good together. Cows would, would eat the, mm-hmm. the fallow year, and they would, uh, they would forage, and you'd have to run your cattle around. He was planting soybeans, and uh, they got very, the price went way up, and he had the machinery to do so, and he sold all his cows, and he just didn't like chasing cows that got out of the fences <laughs> in, in the cold weather. So, so. Um, of all of your years as a rice farmer and all our family's years farming rice, what is the most interesting rice-related story that you know of? <laughs> uh, wow. Um, I, I was around as a very formative young teen when the price went stratospheric. Everybody made a huge amount of money. It was a time of the Arab-Israeli crisis, and the price of all tripled from 3 to 12, and the price of rice went up, and everybody made it money. We moved uh, to farm rice across the intercoastal canal mm-hmm. and uh, pump off, and you had to cross the ferry and use boats to get down there and, and move machinery in and out, mm-hmm. and, and you had drag lines to dig protection levees, and, and when it was, it was just unique. It was such a... Such a uh, such a process. I, I, I never, uh, that was so, so exciting and much fun. I never, uh, uh, but then by the late 70s, the price had dipped down and the expenses were still high and it just made it very difficult. Mm-hmm. 